The Winnebago Echo has been the best-selling off-road B-plus motorhome in the history of RVs. Well, allow me to introduce you to a new competitor in the game and make way for the new Integra Coach version of this awesome motorhome. This is a 2024 Integra Coach Condor, the model 22T. We are going to be taking a look at all the features, and we're starting in 3, 2, 1... Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Today I am super excited to be giving you guys a world debut of the all new Coachman Condor. Now, we actually showed this at open house this year, but this is our first time that we're doing a full around walk around. And with me is Miss Andrea. Hi everybody. How's it going today? It's exciting. I'm so glad to finally see this. It's exciting whenever we get to do a brand new RV. Yes. So I hope you guys are excited. Hold on to your seats. Especially an RV like this, Andrea. One that's really going to be shaking up the RV industry. Let's begin. Model is the 22T Integra Condor. The actual tip to tip length is 22 feet 11 inches, has a 53 gallon fresh water, 51 gallon gray water, and only a 4.75 black water tank. That means it's the cassette toilet, okay? Sits on the 3.5 liter EcoBoost V6 Ford Transit chassis, 350 uh, HD all wheel drive, 310 horsepower, fuel capacity of 25 gallons, in a wheelbase of 156 inches, Andrea, this is a true B+. Now listen, there's A's, B's, and C's. Technically, there's no such things as B-pluses. And a lot of times, you'll see Andrea and I call like a Winnebago View or a Navion or a Coachman Prism a B-plus because it sits on the Mercedes. And they're not. We only use that for clickbait. But if there was such thing as a true B-plus, it's this. Look at it. It's sleek. It's rugged. It's 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 the Condor. Love the Ford Transit chassis. Love the grill. Love the headlights. And look at the box of the actual RV. You see that it's trim so, piece right there? It's so little. Like the, you know, it's like this. It's that much wider. Right. And it's just more rugged. It's made, to, it's made to go off the beaten path, which is kind of where we are right now filming this video. Can we get a heck yeah? Heck yeah. Heck yeah. And then look at these tires, Dre. They're the BF Goodrich. I love those all-terrain tires. Baja, they're 225-75R16. Very nice. Again, this is the all-wheel drive with EcoBoost. Nice mirrors over here. No side cameras, but you do have a reverse camera. And the seamless bunk over the cap has no seams in it. When you come on down, you're going to see that we have a very nice carefree awning going down the whole side of the motorhome. A frameless window on this door over here, Andrea, but these are actually Euro style windows right there. We'll show you that once we're in the inside. And I love the way the graphics package look, you know what I'm saying? And then right over here, um, cargo carrying capacity, 1,491 pounds. Wow, so much different from the Mercedes. Absolutely. Oh my gosh. Let's see what we got going on here. Look at this. Look at that. You get a nice Bottom little, cooler yeah. there to medic and that also pulls out are That's you okay yeah that was twice hey they need to uh dang that pinched my finger like the first time i let it be but then that second time kind of got me i see the two uh burner propane cook top up right right there and there's yeah. a quick connect somewhere yeah but this is awesome open that one more time i didn't get it yeah look i love those yeah see how it, it's removable and that's why it slid and pinched my finger no big deal Very cool feature. Electrical outlet right there. Yep, and then we have nice. the last door. Okay, really nice looking. Again, aggressive all-terrain tire in the rear. Right here, propane. Removable propane at that. And then quick this, connect. quick connect. In case you wanna have a grill on the outside. And then Miss Jen, bing. Um, please put all the specs right there. For everybody who's watching on television sorry about that y'all andrea distracted me because she pointed to this but andrea maybe i want a cooktop and a grill <laughs> now you can and then check this out oh my goodness is this not a I euro style floor this. plan of course look at the little garage area with the little tie downs i love that 
Not only that, Andrea, you can access this on all three sides. Nice. So everybody with the e-bikes and everything, you got a place for your tools, everything. Show that. What's in here? Oh, yeah. access. But, I mean, look at this. You got electrical outlet in here. You've got a, uh, the car lighter thing or whatever they call them. Absolutely. And, I mean, you can put tools here, too. This is very, very cool. Yes, it is. And I love the material in here. Andre, it's kind of like that diamond rock plate. Very nice. And then look at this dark. Oh, this is like a Darko material right here. And even right here. Because you know why? Because I bet you when you go to a lot of places, this is what's going to get bumped up is these seams and these edges. So you want to have that rugged material there. I love that. Uh, you also have a carefree awning for the rear. Backup camera. Uh, 5,000 pound hits. I'm not saying you can tell 5,000 pounds. And you know what, Andrea? Do you know what that is up on the roof? A solar panel? That's Starlink. Oh, is it? That's Starlink that's coming oh, on the motorhome. Oh my home. goodness. This motorhome does have a King Air digital antenna, air conditioning for the roof, and solar, and Starlink. I love all those features. Wow. That's incredible. And look, there's the other entrance for the storage back here. Yes. This is great. Right here, this is super important. You know what this is? That's a light. This is a light. You know why this is super important to be here? Yes. Why? One, because if you're in a campground and it's dark and you can't nope. see your connections. Nope. Or why? Because people aren't bringing this to uh, campgrounds. They're bringing them to <gasps> horse parks. Oh, yeah. And so they're bringing them out in the middle of nowhere like this. There, There isn't going to be no lights. True. So if, if you're on this side of the motorhome, you need to be able to see your motorhome and have all those hookups. Oh, Just this like is that. great. Look at this. This Dude, is beautiful. Look how small this motorhome is and how they're able to accomplish a great dump station water purifier, you know, uh, sink and everything, not sink, but an outdoor shower and everything. Very, very this nice. This is really exciting. It really, really is. Look at that bee van there. Yes. That's what van life's all about. They love to come to these wild places that, that aren't necessarily campgrounds, you know? And we are at the Ocala Horse Park right now. Right here, we do have a very nice 30 amp cord. Okay. Cassette toilet or? Yes. Okay. Oh, it's locked. Okay. But it is cassette toilet. That's five gallons, just like a B van. Okay. A little bit. I don't know what that is. Of action there. That, that, you, you know, it's going to be there. Just some um, water components for maintenance and stuff okay, like that. Okay. Same thing here. Yep. And then we have a generator. Okay. Yes, ma'am. The generator is an Onan 2800i generator. And then right over here, we got the more hookups. Phillips right there, right? Yep. Okay. Well, Andrea, the outside of this motorhome looks great, but the inside looks even better. Come on, let's go. Take a look. All right, guys. We already said the cargo can capacity when we first started the video is around 1,400 pounds. Yes. Now look at this. So, oh my goodness. Look at this. No slides. This is how it is at all times. Really good walkway. Um, here is the wet bath, which you can see the shower, and then there's the toilet in there, and the master bedroom, which I really like with the twin bed setup. Yeah. And then Andrea, Yes. this episode is sponsored by Liquify, our brand of RV toilet tank treatment. Guys, this is our actual company. We make the absolute best holding tank treatment. We make it in liquid and droplet form. And by the time you're watching this, hopefully in the next week or two, maybe three, we will now have the powdered form of Liquify. So we don't care if you prefer the liquid powder drop-ins we have you covered. All you got to do is go to primepoopposition.com or search liquefied on Amazon. And again, it's our company. Also, we have a sensor cleaner coming out. Bing! And a toilet bowl cleaner coming out. Bing! Hopefully, depending on when you're watching this video, all of that stuff is out now. Thank you to everybody who's been helping us Thank you achieve guys. the American dream. So much. There's so many like interesting products coming out. So make sure you stay tuned for when we say when they're released. And you know what? We're trying to shake up the RV industry. No different than Integra shook up the RV industry yep. with this motorhome. I love Andrea, it. Andrea, let's get started up front here in the cockpit area. Now the cockpit area is small and tight, okay? No need to sit in the passenger seat, Andrea. We're using that for storage. But uh, it's small and tight, Andrea. And the reason why it's a transit chassis, you know what I'm saying? It's a small motorhome. This is van life. 
Look at those vans over there. That's what van life does. They go to an Ocala horse park. Here you go. They go to the middle of nowhere. They just park and now they're camping. The all-terrain tires, the ruggedness of this gives you unlimited capabilities. You get to camp wherever the heck you want. Power windows, power locks, cup holders right there for the Red Bull. Nice steering wheel. Here you have different tow modes. You're gonna have your Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Everything that you want right here is fantastic. And then Andrea, what do we got right there? We have the passenger seat right here. Um, looks looks pretty spacious to me. It doesn't it look as small. And Matt, I don't know if these seats swivel. Um, I don't, I'm not sure with this being new. Oh, wait, no, that no, says, they don't. okay. I can tell you now. Yeah, I was gonna say, I'm looking at this sticker Especially here. Especially with the emergency right. exit right here. And, oh, I forgot to mention, no slide outs on this. Okay, right above us, we do have a very nice TV entertainment center. Okay, a little bit of storage here. That's actually pretty nice, pretty deep. And the same little bit of storage right here. And there's kind of like a soft material right there, which is very, very nice. And then above, we do have a nice light. Good little sky dome just to make it a little bit more spacious and everything. And then check out this nice storage above here. Can you see that? I can. Very nice. Yes. Locks into place. Bam. Don't you love those? I do. Andrea, how do you like the valances? I love it. Andrea? Approved. Bing. How are you approving a valance that's not a valance? <laughs> I just like this clean look. Yes. I love this. Daytime shade and privacy shade. I, I wish we would see that more, you yes. know? You know what? Sometimes the best balance is no balance. Okay, right now I'm sitting on the, the chair area. And then right here, this is what I was talking about, Andrea. The Euro style cabinetry. Or not cabinetry, the Euro style windows right here. So nice. You can have them come all the way open. And again, when you're out in a scene like this, you can get a ton of air. And you can put the screen you. down, which is nice. Yes, you can keep that open and keep the bugs out. Very, very nice. This is my nice seating area right here. Okay. And then I got a lagoon <gasps> table. Oh, I Don't love you that. love that? I do love the lagoon table. And again, this isn't going to be the best sitting area, but when you compare this to a class B camper van, it is fan freaking tastic. And then again, uh, you can see the nice seats, power USB right there. There's even a car seat tether here and there oh, is no, nope. I don't think so. No, not storage. It's, it's locked out but they did put the piano hinge. There's gonna be electronics right there for everybody to see. And then Andrea, right over here is little uh, towel holders right there. Now Andrea, show us this awesome kitchen. That's for sweaters, baby. Sweaters, sweaters, <laughs> sorry, Towels. you know. All right, so. Up we don't, here. I mean, I guess I am wearing a sweater, but you know. Up here we have a nice cabinet. Very nice. Locks in, I love all the LED lighting above. You have a nice Euro window in here. You have both the shades again. And then also, guys, look at this nice cutting board. It has a nice round sink here. Yes. An extension. And you know, for as little as this is, we do have counter space, but I do see that there is no cooktop in here. Okay. Um, under here, we got more storage. Very nice. Above, we have the uh, convection microwave. Yes. You can mount the TV right here. No, no, that's a sound, uh, sound bar. Oh, it's for a sound. Like a speaker. Oh, okay. Yeah electrical outlet and then we got some drawers but i don't know if that's a drawer i think that's just for i think it's a drawer pull it out no mm -hmm. if it is it's very hard to open okay this is a drawer and this one down here very nice and then behind me like you have this right here for some extra space you got some shelves in there for like a pantry yeah and then above there if you can see sure go over that Electric system for your master lights and everything. Very nice. Now here's a towel holder, Matt. Oh, that is a towel holder right there. <laughs> Above the refrigerator, you've got a little bit of storage. Ah, uh, that's know. your induction cooktop. Is it? Yeah. Oh yeah, you can remove it. That's yes, nice. Yes, very nice. I love that they gave you that. And then right here we have the refrigerator, which is a Norcold refrigerator. Okay. You know, it's, it's small. Um, and then you have a little freezer. Yes. Okay, and then we're gonna go into the bathroom, right? Nope. Oh! You know what time it is? It's now time for the MSRP. MSRP. You ready for this, Andrea? I'm ready. MSRP on this motorhome here. 
is $233,754, Andrea. That is the MSRP. I don't know the exact sale price of this one, but we have another one in Salt Lake City, Utah, in Andrea. That one is 32% off to a sale price of $159,995. That is a fantastic price. But Andrea, I want to give a shout out to John and Carol for buying this unit. This Congratulations exact one. To We are going to give you them. guys a prime poop position bobblehead, bing, which looks just like this. And Andrea, I'm looking at the numbers, and they got a lot better price than that. You know why? Because all you guys have to do is go to generalrv.com slash Matt's We've linked it down in the YouTube description below. You guys can get there from mattsrvreviews.com or call 844-969-4033. Reach out to a member of my team, and my team is here to help everybody get the absolute best price in America. Or do what John and Carol did. Come to the Ocala store, work with one of our team members. Shout out Matt Williams. And Matt Williams is a reputation of uh, reputation. It's a representation of us, right? And he got them the best price in America. So congratulations to them. And we got a lot more of these on order. So make sure you guys give us a call. I'm going to cut on through here and then cut on through. All right. Wow. Andrea. Wow. Oh, my goodness. That. Oh, so this closes right here. Okay. Andrea, this is the best wet bath I've ever seen. Look at this. We got a nice little sink right here. Mirrored medicine cabinet right here. That does definitely open. All right. Look, you got this. Oh, you can hang stuff. Oh my gosh. Wow. Just like that. Little, little cubbies for like your soaps and stuff. And you know what, Matt? You got a little window back there, which is really nice to have that in the bathroom, right? So you can open that up. That's nice. Yes. Shower miser system, right? That's where you uh, keep your toilet paper holder. Andrea. This is a prime poop position. Bing! Hold up. Wait, what? I'm going to break my own rule. What? It's not porcelain. It's plastic. I'm breaking my rule, y'all. And I'm going to get a lot of hate for this. But you know what? I'm doing it. For a wet bath, this is absolutely fantastic. Do I wish it was a porcelain toilet? Yes. When I started this review, when I start these reviews, I'm like, I'm not even going into the bathroom. Right. It's pointless. This is the best wet bath I've ever seen in a B-plus motorhome. And you know what? This is the first and probably only prime poop position that's mm -hmm. on a plastic toilet. It is really spacious in there for the shower. Uh, this is incredible. Very, very nice. So it does have a magnet that closes that there for privacy. Great job, Integra. And then as you go into the master bedroom right there, there is a step up. Yep. We've got a drawer right there. Two drawers? Oh, yep. very drawer nice. There. Okay. Okay, so you've got storage there, which is really nice too. I like sure how that. they did that. Another drawer. Yep. And then right here. Oh, oh my goodness. Yes. Okay, and you can hang stuff right there. Yes. Wow. And then I'll try to look, I'm sitting up here. You got a place to mount the TV, okay? Love these big windows. No storage above here because they're nice two big windows. Love the two twin beds. It does fill in to make a full bed if you want it. If you want it, yeah, you can make it a king size bed. You got this here? Yes, look at that. Three cabinets. I like that. I like that it's not all the way around. Yeah. And it gives you the nice windows in here. There's your Starlink right there. Okay. And again, I do like when the cabinets are all around. It gives you more space. But it also, you then lose headspace. Yes. Andre, this is absolutely fantastic back here. You know what I'm saying? I got little lights here, power and USB here. Very, very nice. Single AC unit. And again, these windows are going to give you nice cross breeze ventilation. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. That's the all new world debut of the Integra uh, Concord. Con Condor. Condor. <laughs> <laughs> now, before everybody leaves, it's time to give people three things we love about this motorhome and three things we don't like about it. And I did forget to mention, I believe you do have the option of getting the pop top, but this one does not have that. Andrea, what do you want to do first? Matt, let's do, it's going to be really tough, but let's do three things we dislike about it first. Okay. First and foremost, I'm standing right on here. I actually don't like how high the bed is, and I don't like the steps to climb up into the bed and down off the bed. 
Two reasons. One, Andre is very clumsy. And two, for me, the way we camp, our dog sleeps with us. And I don't see her being able to climb up these vertical steps. So for me, that is a dislike number one. Andrea, what's dislike number two? Dislike number two for me is going to be, I don't like that the seats don't swivel. Right. Um, you know, it, it's nice. I love the dinette, but it would be nice to have that extra seating. Yeah. Right? Yeah, for sure. It's just really tight and small. And so that, that's definitely going to be a little bit harder. That's number two. And then Andrea, number three hmm. for me, I, I, I got a number three. Okay. It's just small. It's just tight. You know what I'm saying? Um, this is like, this is your only seating area. You know what I'm saying? This is not a big kitchen. Nothing about this motorhome is big and great. But again, that's because it complements into the three things that we love about it. May I go first? Sure. It's a true class B motorhome, class B plus motorhome. And it's truly made for off the beaten path, outdoor adventures, all wheel drive, all terrain tires. This, the, the, the Darko material on the edges, this is made for adventure. This is not made for campsites. That is the first thing I love about it. Andrea, what's love number two? I gotta say, I love the exterior storage. Talk to me. That garage storage back there on this small motorhome. Yes. I mean, I've seen it on some more Euro styles, but come on, on a B plus like this, I love you don't it. see it. I love it. That is number two. And then Andrea, number three for me, undisputed, the bathroom. I this agree. is the best wet bath I've ever seen in my life. And it is the only RV in the history of Matt's RV reviews. I'm giving a plastic toilet a prime pooping position. Not even doable for poopable, but a prime pooping position. That was absolutely fantastic. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's our review. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are interested in getting a Winnebago Condor, please go to GeneralRV.com slash Matt's Cash. I've linked it down in the YouTube description below. You guys can get there from MattsRVReviews.com or call 844-969-4033. Please reach out to us and a member of my team will reach back out to you guys. They will get you one thing and one thing only. And Andrea, that is... The best price in America. <laughs> Hey, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike. Yes. And Tagra, they do read the comments. They do watch the videos, you guys. And with this being a brand new RV, they want to know what you have to say about it. Yes. Um, we hope you guys are safe and well. Thanks for watching. Thank you absolutely, everybody, so much for watching. And Andrea, we'll see you next time.